Uh, howdy folks, uh, Chris the Carpenter here, and I have successfully learned how to program an EEPROM chip. So here's what I'm running, um, Pickaxe 40, with a little EEPROM there, uh, it's a motor driver in Darlington, forget about that. But basically what I've got, uh, when the program starts, uh, LED 0 output pin is going to blink three times, which basically tells me to start recording. At that point, it's going to cycle through and record 250 moves. As I sweep this trimmer back and forth, I'm going to turn on one of the eight outputs in succession. So I'm going to sweep these lights back and forth. As I'm doing that, the EEPROM is going to record each of those lights coming on and off. Now, when it's reached its 255 or 256 count from 0 to 255, the zero LED is going to blink five times to tell me basically the recording's done. And then it's going to go to the um, read command on the EEPROM and it's going to read everything I just did and play it back. Once it's done playing everything back, all eight LEDs are going to blink continuously to tell me it's done. So, um, so here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my first thing that worked really well. Okay, so there's the three blinks to tell me I'm recording. Now I'm going to sweep back and forth. Um, through your arm made a farting noise when you rubbed it on the counter, mm -hmm. sweetie. My lovely wife is recording right now. This is so exciting. Okay, so we'll do a little pattern here at the end so you can see that pattern develop when it plays back. Okay, and I'll do it on this end. So, oops, get in there, freaking screwdriver. Okay, so there's the five blinks to tell me it's done recording. And now it's going to play back exactly what I just did. And when I said I'm going to keep it at the end, you'll see it right here. Right there is where I, right? So bada boom, bada bing. Done. ADC, read ADC off of this little trimmer pot. Recorded the settings. Stuck it on the EEPROM. Stopped. Played it back. Bada boom, bada bing. Awesome. Uh, to Fritz, to everyone else uh, that's helped me through figuring out the ITC and the EEPROM stuff, I completely appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to add my code to this post so you can see what I've done. Uh, it's pretty chunky code, but it works, and uh, I, uh, I learned what I need to learn. So there you go. Uh, Chris Carpenter's first attempt at EEPROM programming. Ting!